thanks for tuning in. Uh, me and Buddy Claude are gonna go winter camping. Um, just an overnighter. Um, we got a brand new uh, canvas tent to try out with my wood stove. It's gonna be great. We have like so much gear, barely fit in the car. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be cooking some good food. And uh, it's awesome, we just finished crossing the lake. So we're gonna try um, to find a good spot here where there's not too much wind and uh, there's a good resource of firewood and we have uh, a little bit of sunlight coming in. So yeah, we're just looking for a spot right now and then we'll set up camp. We found a, a good spot to camp. There's so much fallen wood and stuff. We had to bring the, uh, the sled over all this stuff. Now we're we're pretty much home free. Not enough snow to get us off the ground and the fallen trees. It's maybe like six inches of snow. A little game trail we can follow there. The fishing rods are getting stuck. Made it to camp, we're gonna set up our tent right here. I get rid of some of the snow. Snow, like no dangerous trees, it's nice and open here. Small, some small uh, spruce trees give us a bit of cover. We tried to find a, an open spot where it's drained so that not too much water is here. We're, we don't have much experience hot tenting, so we'll see I guess how it goes. Unfolds like this and then like that and we're going to spread it out and put some pegs in. We're using these uh, ice fishing shelter screws they're made to go in the ice so they're working pretty good on the ground here the ground is slightly frozen once they'll be in they'll freeze in place pretty good Five pegs are put in and we gotta find a center pole to put in the middle. For our center pole and we're gonna use the branches for for a little bit of bedding, added bedding. Just sliding, sliding the axe. Okay. We got the white back. Got lots of my pot and my chimney. I'll assemble the chimney and set up the stove. I made another video on the stove, the Nyko Alaskan stove. I did not have the spark rester, I do have it now. 
and I added some, some little stones in there. So yeah, I'll assemble this and then we'll be ready to go. Okay. Ça c'est le bout qui va. Ah dans... oh, oui, dans, dans, le, dans le trou en haut. C'est quoi tu fais? Je suis en train d'attacher, euh, de mettre un peu de tension sur la, la paroi de la tente. Claude's just adding the last stakes for the tent and this will put some tension on the, uh, the walls. We're almost all set up. I started gathering some firewood. camera having issues with the camera we have a lot of batteries but we uh, I kind of let the camera cool down so we're gonna start the fire right away and warm up all the the camera gear and then after that we can film some more you want to go gather some cattails for uh, for extra bedding we do have our normal camping mats but Birch bark, small branches. What? On va mettre du stock déjà de de plus grosse dimension, c'est un peu. I don't want to go too crazy on the small wood because I'll burn everything down. It's already really hot. Gather a few cattails for uh, extra bedding here. Another ferro rod fire with a uh, birch bark. Just finely, finely cut birch bark. Throw some finer sticks, match size, a little bit bigger, and then some bigger stuff. We got two ribeye steaks, um, and I brought a grill this time, a newly, newly bought grill, so we won't need to do them caveman style right on the coals, even though that's really good anyways. 
And then, yeah. We're at minus 10 right now for temperature. Cooking fires about six feet high now. <laughs> Claude, uh, le maître du feu. <laughs> Claude, the master of fire. Ten pegs are well, well set up to bring him higher. We added another, another uh, post. Let's go see this fire. It's almost five feet high. <laughs> Twig bundle type fire. Good boy. Grab some water for the, uh, the stove and for you. Fire's roaring, the grill is uh, heating up. We set up the Morris Bush Bot with a snare wire and just a normal pot hanger. Ready to throw the steaks on the grill. What's, uh, what's nice about the grill is I can add or remove coals to adjust the, the heat of the, the heat of my oven, I guess. But they'll cook nice and slow. Non, on va le laisser finir euh, okay. tranquillement, puis ça va être parfait. Ouais. Wow. Là, plus entre les plats, puis je vais les rapprocher. Split. Log for a plate. Et voilà, on a piti. <laughs> Time to do the dishes. <laughs> Quote from Joe Robinet. 
great channel. You can see the the frost on uh, Claude's back. This is like just his blue shirt, all the 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 whitest frost, eh? And uh, that's why in winter it's important to stay dry or have a spare set of clothes or dry yourself by the fire or something. With the tent, we'll be fine. We'll be able to dry everything. Just made a backpacker's pantry past the vegetable parmesan. We're waiting for it to be ready. 13 minutes. Nice fire, nice and warm. Went down to minus 15 right now. Boiling sour water from the water from the lake. Just hang outside. It's frozen solid. So make it whole. Got a little bit of ice in there. Throw that on the fire. Hot chocolate. We're at minus 20.5. The weather said minus 20 for tonight. I had it in the tree earlier and it was minus 19.5. Cool, let's go back to the, the tent. It is, it is warm in here. <laughs> this is Claude's sleeping system. Too hot. <laughs> got, got two mattresses and some spruce bells underneath for a little bit added comfortness. <laughs> And I did, I did the same thing, but with some cattails. So hot, my camera's humid now. This is mine here. Second map, sleeping bag, probably be way too warm. Sour pile of wood. We'll see, we will see how the night goes.
Morning folks. Coffee's ready from the water boiling is kind of fogging up the the camera. I didn't use up that much wood after all. I maybe stoked the fire three, four times every like three hours or so. Yo, bit of oatmeal. All right, we're ice fishing now. I got my hole there and clothes holes over there. And I just, just caught a nice little rainbow for the supper tonight. Beauty rainbow trout, I'm gonna dispatch him. Perfect. We decided to stay an extra night, so we'll be staying two nights. We uh, just got back from our ice fishing. We only caught that one trout, it's now around Two o'clock, and uh, yeah, we're setting up to boil some Canadian maple syrup and make some uh, maple taffy. We brought enough food for the two days, and then with that trout, we'll be good for our supper tonight. By boiling the maple syrup, it'll evaporate the water and concentrate all the sugars. So we can pour it on ice and then roll it on a stick. Lots of calories, exactly what we need. It's not too cold now, it's minus nine, minus 10. So, pretty comfortable. It was too nice out to leave. Got a rolling boil with the maple syrup. Probably take half an hour for one can. We'll see. And then we'll pour it on the ice. Maple taffy 
on the snow. Good to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. C'est parfait, hein? La consistance est parfaite. Oui. Oui. Yeah, we found the thing I brought some butter. Should we put some inside? On a met some down or they all Peut-être ça va être difficile en dedans. Ah non, non, non. Ouais, on peut y en mettre un peu. Throw some inside. Might as well use it if we brought it. Perfect. Throw that on the grill with some coals. Okay. Here's our uh, kitchen cooking setup. It's pretty cool, we got a medium temperature or a low and then a high. Now it's on the high because it's low, the pot's low. Then when you bring it up here, the other limb of the tree raises the height of the pot. So it's a low, low heat. And uh, right now it's it was boiling, but since we brought it up, it's not boiling anymore. Trout's cooking on the grill. Here there was a big fallen tree. So we put the sleigh upside down, the polk sled, and we put a sleeping mat and it's a comfortable seat. Got a little bit of wood. Tent's not too far, right here. And we just checked the temperature, it's minus 13 degrees Celsius and it's about get out key five o'clock thank you six minus twenty so twenty to six all right we'll see you guys when the trout's ready Quelle belle truite. Ça, on va envoyer ça dans le feu. Mmh. We've got minus 13.5. Right now it's 7.30 p.m. And yeah, we're day two. Our uh, 
pasta's marinara is ready. Fire's over there. Rest of the supper is ready. We're uh, back in the tent. We're starting to heat up the wood stove. It's already uh, 10 o'clock, so we're gonna head to bed real quick. And uh, yeah, just day two, so we start. We decided to stay a little bit longer. Um, yeah, just uh, nice to have everything set up and stay for an extra day. And uh, I don't know what else to say, but. Yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and then tomorrow we're going to pack up, and uh, hopefully we have enough batteries to film a little bit. So, all right. Ah, nice heat. Well, good night folks, we'll see you in the morning. Got right, minus eight on the thermometer this morning. It's uh, seven o'clock. Just leave it hanging. Sun's starting slowly to get up. 7 o'clock, go back in the tent, try to sleep a bit more, make some breakfast. Alright, see you guys later. It's 8.30 now, it's minus 7 outside. Put some wood in at seven, so close the trap. Good coals in there. I cut up, we cut up like way too much wood and we didn't split it small enough. Some of the bigger stuff I can't really burn because you need a good bed of coals to burn that bigger log and it's just too hot in here to really get a nice nice bed of coals like you'd have to burn lots of wood and then you would die of heat <laughs> we're just emptying the coals here while well, Claude is I'm not <laughs> uh, emptying the, the coals from the stove and uh, then it'll cool down we can pack up so I'll go through all my gear for people who are interested in gear. Little pillow, Neo Air 
uh, mat with a yellow foam mat. This is my Thor uh, windstopper mech sleeping bag. Minus 30. Claude has the same one. That's just the carrying bag. Uh, got some down like shoes. We didn't really use them because with the, the stove we can dry out our socks and everything. Some warmer pants, a bit of extra clothes. My big uh, my big uh, Sabre Carrymore SF pack. Nomadic Woodsman patch. A warm down coat. That's clothes. And then mittens, extra gloves. He had just a blue foam mat, reflective, with the yellow foam mat. The sled, the 10x10 10 10 Atuk Kanguk 10. It's a 10 ounce cotton, just the thicker cotton. The Alaskan wood stove from Nyko. Okay, so all the rest of the gear is pretty much all set up here we'll start with the interesting stuff the cutting tools that's uh wetterling's uh hudson bay axe it's, uh, for the 150 years of canada uh kent of inglewood had uh something going on where they made 150 of these axes this is 128 and Got the 1867 with the maple leaves on there. It's a wider axe. I'm getting used to it. It's awesome at splitting, but for chopping and cutting, it's a little it's a little wide for that. For putting in ten pegs, it's really good. The 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 handle is awesome. It's nice and small. I like small smaller handles. A Stanley bow saw, backhoe saw, my Andal Canadian forest knife with the uh, ferro rod and the sharpening little sharpening stone. It's an awesome knife. Get lots of questions on it. All right, that's about it. My warmer shoes. Gloves, mittens. I only use the gloves. Usually I use the mittens when it's really cold, like minus 30, you need the mittens with the uh, small uh, wool uh, gloves. Ice, uh, shoes to walk on ice so we don't slip around. Clothes, that's mine. My bigger down coat. These are awesome, they're from from Mac and they come packed down really small. We don't use them much during the day. When it's really cold at night, you're not moving around. It's really nice to, to pop on. Smaller toque, warmer uh, pants, extra socks, darn tough. My Fell Raven backpack. I have a Badja line, that's what I had all my food in. Uh, now it's just like trash. And there you've seen what we ate anyways. The uh, Ted carrying bag, a first aid kit, headlight, bigger light, some filming equipment, the uh, small action cam tripod. I got my bigger tripod there. And then this is all like cooking stuff. So grill, spatula, Morse bush pot, two thermoses, this one, this one, a uh, teapot. Uh, Bush Buddy, didn't use the Bush Buddy with the stove. Um, titanium MSR pot from Mac, some jerky. And this is all fishing gear, so my, my, my bait used mealworms yesterday. Worked really well. Some gulp, lots of, lots of hooks in there and stuff. The uh, ice auger. Hand auger, eight inches. 
brought these. They're just like uh, little fishing stands to hold your rod. Not really necessary. And then two fishing rods. We could have went more minimal, brought less gear, or we could have brought more gear, but we wanted to, to ice fish on this one and try out the tent. So yeah, you can, if you're going winter camping, this is just some basic stuff that we, uh, we use. So you can add or some stuff or yeah, bring less stuff depending on weather and what you want to do. The fire spot from yesterday with our, uh, where we hung our pot. I'll add some water here later from the lake. And I think that's about it. Now let's take down this tent. So we just finished rolling up the tent. This is what's left of our spot. The stove was right here. One bed, the other bed. The tent went around like this. A little bit of pegs left. Last thing we have to do before we leave, we're gonna grab some water in the lake, fill this uh, seal line bag and Put it on our fire to make sure it's out. We don't want to cause any wildfires, so it's important to put the fire out pretty good. Yeah, we can feel a little bit of heat. Yeah, I can hear it too. stir everything to make sure the water goes in and then we're good to go. By stirring I'm making sure the water goes in and everything. Oops. <laughs> Send some mud on my cameraman. I think that's pretty good. All right, everyone, uh, we're out of here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on the next one. You guys can leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to, to answer. And uh, yeah, you can subscribe if you want more winter camping videos, more similar type of videos. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys like the video. Hope you guys have a good one. And, uh, cheers.